I'm not the only one who has like three drinks every single morning. <laughs> I was like, this is like drink roulette right now. Like working my way through water, smoothie, and my greens juice. Usually this is coffee. In the last month, I went from living in an RV full time around the country to now living in a city apartment. Would I do RV life again? 100% yes. Am I going to do RV life again? I don't know. I think living in an RV is something every single person should experience at least once in their life. I need to appreciate the small things like just having rooms in your house, right? Like you're in an RV, you're in one big room. Now being in a townhome, I can go from the office to the kitchen to the bedroom and I wasn't able to do that for the last three years. To travel with your bedroom. What? That is so cool. Think about it. Your home comes with you on wheels. It's the best case scenario to be able to see the things that you want to see go to the national parks that you want to go to, just have a new backyard and keep your house with you. Now, the things I'm loving about being in a city is that I have a stationary home where all of my things are, and then I can take a vacation from it and come back to it. Oh, there's the dogs. And yes, the dogs came with us on the road. Now I have something to look forward to. The last three years, we were constantly on the go. So it was all just a part of our lifestyle instead of a vacation. So many people think that RV life is just one constant vacation, but honestly, it's your lifestyle and you have to adjust to it. And what I mean is you're not eating out all the time. You have to start meal prepping, cooking food in your own kitchen so you don't spend all the money in the world. In the beginning of our RV journey, we definitely ate out and acted like it was a vacation and realized quickly within like two months that we couldn't do that the entire time. Planning on doing RV life, do a date night once a week and that can be your night that you go out. It's also very nice having a place for your mail to come to. I've been getting PR packages this week and I'll show you guys them later if you wanna see them, but companies have been sending us things to try out. And this is something that would have been very hard to do on the road because I would need to get it shipped to my mom and she would forward it to me or ship to a certain campground that we're at. And if the shipping time wasn't in like five days cause we were only at a campground for five days, we wouldn't get the package. That happened often. So overall there's pros and cons to both things. I think you should be able to experience the ability to be in an RV and travel, whether it's weekend trips or a full-time thing like we did. But now I'm really excited to explore this city. I'm really excited to start vacationing from here. We actually have a trip coming up next week and then that's gonna definitely be on the underrated towns in the USA series. Use my experience and learn from it. Ask me any questions down below that you have about it.